Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Update 15 is hopefully around the corner. Vault Hunters SMP has begun and things are starting to go down, like playtesting and all that good stuff, which means we're going to probably get access to it very, very soon. Maybe not very, very soon. Whenever it's ready. No rush. But that also means that we're going to have a lot of new features, which I'm very excited for because uh, it, it looks good. It looks good. If you haven't seen it, go and check out this Kel's videos where he breaks down the sum of the new features in Update 15. It looks absolutely amazing. But we're not there yet and we have some stuff to do. As you can see, I already have placed a thing in there. We do need to go ahead and check this thing real quick. I do only have 1,300, though I don't have enough to buy any of that stuff. Nope, don't, not really interested in any of that. However, what I want to do today is I want to try and get more of those. We have four. I want more. That rhymed. Haha. <laughs> but what my, re what my goal here today is going to be is to make a library inscription. We have almost everything that we need. We have the Echo Gems. We have the Vault Gold. We have the Gilded Chess Scroll. We have everything that we need, except except for the inscription pieces we are missing three and i'm hoping that with a single vault run we will be able to get the inscription pieces that we need we already have two gilded infused catalysts right here and i'm hoping that we can craft a lot more i don't know how many more but we're gonna see because i'm gonna go ahead and craft a bunch now uh we're gonna run out of catalyst fragments in a moment but we do now have one two three four five six now, we, our capacity for crystals will be 60, because that's what I saw on the crystal that I put in there. So that means that we'll be able to have an inscription, and that, seriously, rain? We'll be able to have our inscription, and then five of these infused vault catalysts before the vault becomes well cursed. And we're not going to get that, because we got that last time, and no thank you. So that means we have one left over and I am thinking how many more can I make because I probably should save these and not run a Wild West room. I was originally thinking of doing that but I don't think I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. I will however bring a bunch of this and a stack of Benyotide down here so we have it in this thing right here at all times. And then I'm going to put the spare one in here. We have a bunch of other inscriptions. We already, we actually have two Wild West inscriptions, but uh, that's going to be for another day. For now, I'm going to go ahead and add these in here. These will be used later. I should be ready to run a vault and hopefully we will get what we need. I'm just thinking if I have missed anything. I don't think I have. Mm. There is one issue. One very weird issue. First of all, why is the disk drive facing the other way? I don't know. But something else weird is this chest is never counted when I log back into the world. Like, as you can see, if I search for cobblestone, I get nothing. However, if I go back here, that was a very big jump. If I go back here, right, and I remove this and I place it back. If I take my stuff back, there we go. I place it back here. I'm pretty certain that it is now going to show in here. Never mind. I you see I don't I don't know what is going on here. I honestly don't know. I've tried and troubleshooted before and I am so so confused about what on earth is happening. I don't understand it. Like I'll try and remove this, maybe I'll try and remove that and then place it back down again when my blocks are not being stolen. I place it there, it connects that and that and now to my knowledge it should be right there. Yep, there you can see dirt and cobblestone is now present. I don't know what is going on. I don't know why I have to reset that block all the time. Don't know what causes that. Um, and I'm also not going to troubleshoot it at this point in time. I'll probably have to ask in the Discord. Or if you guys know it, let me know down below in the comments why on earth it does that. But anyways, the sun is setting and I have this thing, which gives me extra mana stuff, which is cool. Uh, do I still have... I still have these. Find two inscription in the vault and then mine Ashia more. Hmm. Well, they're good, so we're gonna keep them. And three and a two and a one, and let's go and do this. Ooh, gather elixir. I feel like that has been a while before we have had that. That's really exciting, and it's ice, so it's very slippery. That's not as fun, but okay. Waiting, 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 waiting. Come on, come on, just a little further so I can run. Come on, there, there we go. Good enough for me. Now, honestly, I ooh, awesome. I know that I say this in every single 
votes on this episode, but honestly, it has been like, I think more than like two, I think it's been like two or three weeks since I let Al, since I last played, because I've been moving and, oh dear, and haven't had internet access and whatnot. So this is going to be weird. <laughs> It's gonna be weird. I don't know what is Ashium. Oh, I just got Ashium. Did I complete that? Oh, mine Ashium or not get Ashium. Okay. Uh, I need to remember all my keybinds. <laughs> oh dear me. Uh, nope, that's not it. That's the thing. That That's also the thing. I'm also playing all the mods 9 and the vein miner. The button is different. And I know I'm just coming with excuses right now, but deal with it. Oh, and oh yeah, it's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another Ashium. There we go. I mean, if we can complete a bounty today, that'll be great. I can finally free up that slot. <laughs> Is it just me or I have slowness? What do I have slowness from? I, I was about to say my FOV feels weird. I normally play at 90. This is so odd. And then it's because I have slowness. That's not fun. It must be like the an effect from the frost. Like, there we go. See, the slowness is gone now. I put it back, and I guess it's the frost mobs causing it. That's annoying. Oh, don't do that. These guys are not giving it, so it must be the big ones. Yep, see? That that one... Ooh, door. I don't think that's the key we have, though, unfortunately. Nope, it is not. How nice it would be if that was the case. <laughs> but it ain't. Oh, but the slowness is gone now. I must have gotten something. I don't know what it was, but it must have been something. Aha, uh -huh, vendor door. Let's see. Lost bounty. Infuse the vault catalyst. Uh, hmm. I don't think infuse is going to be worth it. Those boosts are definitely not worth it. Lost bounty. I don't know if that is worth me getting. In fact, I don't know. Oh, I do have this. No. no mm, but I really want to. I want to see what. Uh, I don't know if there's something. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I, I forgot I had added that backpack. That bounty better be worth it, because I just spent 56 gold on it. I mean, gold is not something that I use the most, but it's all so expensive. I don't know if that was worth it. Don't know what, if it was worth it. If you think it was worth it, let me know down below in the comments by um, something. And if you think it was a horrible mistake, uh, comment what did you just do? Uh, you ding dong. <laughs> Well, let's see. I have like four gold, uh, four four gold coins remaining. Maybe it's six, six gold coins. Not really enough to buy anything of value. That was trapped. That's great. That's just what I wanted. I'm getting a little bit worried with this objective though, because uh, I have now gone through not yet, but almost half of the vault time, and we're not half with the elixir yet. This could get tight. Well, this is... Ooh, dungeon. This is a bit tricky. Doing this on the ice. Very slippery. Please go away. And you too. Oh, dear me. Ooh, we got a mod box from that. Let's go. Let's see. Dungeon. Normal. Oh, but coins. Well, to be fair... Ooh, maybe... I... Mm, okay, coins are definitely not the best experience giver. But these guys might be actually skeletons. I thought it would have been zombies, actually. Didn't, didn't know it was skeletons, but... I mean, it'll give us extra XP, might as well. Poison Nova does do a difference, actually, if you remember to use it. It's, that's actually quite nice. Oh, champion. Hello. And let's do Nova. And... And you're gone. Nice. Uh, helmet? I mean, it has potential. No arcane thingy thing, though, unfortunately. But still, we got a good amount of coins from it, so I'm not gonna complain. Oh, this is a good pile of chests, three, two. Yep, there we go. <laughs> it's gonna be tight with time and this uh, elixir, but I do have some stuff, like I have kiwis and whatnot, but I just don't know if it's gonna be good enough. I mean, if I get some really good stuff, then I should be able to make the elixir before time runs out. Ooh, challenge, let's see. Loot gilded chests, 13. Don't think I'm gonna make that, but thankfully, by the time that that challenge runs out, I'll be out of here. Hopefully. <laughs> so I'm not too worried. Alright, dungeon, probably gonna be in pass. Challenging, uh, what does it have? What does it actually offer? Nope. I don't even care. Goodbye. Okay, I might go stop going for wooden chests because they actually don't give me very much XP. I will take like things like Gilded and whatnot, but if it's not something that gives me a lot of... 
elixir, I'm probably not gonna go for it much. Yeah, chests honestly in general don't give me that was a lot of jewels. Don't give me a whole lot. Killing mobs does though, which is good. So maybe I should have taken that dungeon anyway. Ah, I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Ooh, that one was trapped, which normally would be bad, but I won't complain when kills are getting me elixir. Uh, this is not it, is it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if it just opened. That would be... That would be something. Honestly, almost there. It shouldn't be too long now. Getting ever so closer. And I have a real... I, I don't know why I'm having a look. I can't even buy anything even if I wanted to. I have six gold coins. <laughs> Another vendor. Again, why am I looking? Why am I looking? Can't buy stuff. What are you? Hello. Uh, if you're giving me good elixir, I don't mind. But I don't... I... Wow. Okay. Oh dear me. Come on. Only missing a tiny bit. I can do that in three minutes. Maybe. Potentially. Oh dear. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Okay, see, if I got that much from just a single minute or so, this really shouldn't be impossible. But I do also need to find a thing. A pylon. Whatever they're called. Don't know if there's one in each room. I don't think I've seen one in this room yet. And in which case I need to be able to go back to a room that has one. I know the first room has one. And I should be able to make that. But... <laughs> getting worried. Three minutes. Where on earth is my exit? Uh, do I have... I do have an orange. Which adds one minute to the vault timer. And I may have to eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna greed, and I'm gonna hope that I can find a pylon. That's my hope. I'm gonna go into this room here, and I'm gonna go right. Because why not? I really, really have a bad feeling about my mission here. Ooh, this could be good though. Please, please, please. Yes, consume lodestone. Okay. I don't think that's one in this room. I'm not even gonna get, uh, get back. Okay. I can add one minute to the timer. I can add one minute to the timer. All I need is to find a lodestone. I'm gonna run back the way that I came from because I know I've seen them be fairly easily accessible. In fact, with my speed and dash, I might actually be able to... Uh, might actually be able to make it back to the starter room. Get out of my way. All of you. I don't even know where you're coming from. Aha! See? That's one. That's a pylon. Lodestone thingy. Okay. Let's go. Elixir completed with like a minute to spare. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. I'm happy with that run. 53,000 volt XP, halfway there to level 56. Uh, chest looted. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's a lot of mobs. Right. Well-deserved break. Needed. Okay. Elixir crate there. Let's take a look at the loot. A lot of stuff for the coins. I mean, we have over two... Oh, don't lock. We have over 200 coins now, which is pretty awesome. And oh, now see, now they're there. That it's weird. It's being weird. It's being very weird. Uh, there we go. Cool. I'm so happy we got that set up as well. By the way, uh, that's not a whole lot for the white double pouch here. Honestly, I mean, I won't complain. This flawless jewel is actually really, really good. Uh, this not as good, and definitely not as good. We're gonna go ahead and unlock this. Uh, not good enough for us. So bye. Bye, it goes. These are some of the more random stuff, and I completely forgot that I made this thing where I can just put the pouch down and it does the work for us. So I'm gonna do that with the red one. Just need to go ahead and put... There we go. We got eight inscription pieces. We can make this thing now. We can make it. Ooh, that's gonna be exciting. Okay, yeah, let me just put this stuff away. And here we go. We have a bunch of gems. We have mod box. We have catalyst fragments. We have some relic booster packs, which I'm going to open. Relics are going to go away anyway, so that doesn't really matter. I think I can just go ahead and place that there. And all the stuff <laughs> is going to put, be put where they belong. This is honestly so cool. Like the, It's fast as well. It's not like it takes long. I could place this down and then be like, oh, OK, it's done now. So go ahead and mine that up, take it, and put it in. That's awesome. I love that. All right. Disable magnet. Let's open this, see what we get. Some gold, some cool stuff. Okay. 13 volt gold. Not bad. We have a mod box. Not bad at all either. We have some of the eternal soul. We have some vault gear here. Hopefully it's going to be good. Uh, we have some gems as well. And uh, uh, th over 30. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't like that. 
That is a lot of attack damage, increased champion damage and dungeon damage, plus healing card cloud and attack speed. This could be my dungeon weapon. This could be a dungeon weapon. This is good. It's pretty good actually, but the base attack damage is not good enough for it to rival the one that I have. It is Omega though, actually. It's not bad. I don't care about the wand. These leggings, hide in quantity. Ooh, not good enough though. And these also not good enough. That axe though could be cool. The sword, if we could re-roll, can be used to modify Volkia, remove a random modifier. Uh, can be used to modify Volkia, reforce the tier of a random modifier. Modify, reforge all implicits. <sighs> These are expensive though. I don't know if I want to do that for this. If I can do it though, it's gonna be a pretty decent sword. Wait, mine also has well damage, increased champion damage. Yeah, nah. Nope, nope. This axe though. I might try and run with it. I'm not gonna enchant it or anything, but I might try and run with it. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 8. Seriously? Okay, fine. Fine, it can rain. It can rain. I'm just not gonna listen to it much. I just want it as a background thing. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Library inscription. There we go. That is that. That costs us four Echo Gems. Um... Yikes. Now we need to make that. And I don't think I have any more rotten flesh. I do not. Is there a way to make rotten flesh is the question. No, it is not. So I basically need to go zombie hunting, actually. Which even though it is, to be fair, it's not nighttime. I need to wait for the sun to go down. It feels dark, but really it is still daytime. So yeah, that that's that. I do, however, have another idea. If I just grab a drowned? No. Do I not have a normal zombie? There we go. Zombie spawn egg. Break this. Go in here. Add this. Just wait a little bit. Just add a few to it, you know. Let it spawn in a couple. That should do the trick. One more spawn. There we go. Get out of here. Place that there. Place this back in. Go down. And this is good looting, so... But only 16. I need more than 16. Come on, spawn more. There we go, that's better. 33, I'll take that. 27, and boom, Vault Crystal has been crafted in just a moment. ka -ching. And added to here, capacity 0 out of 60 because we have all that. Layout, library, positive modifiers is 5 times gilded, so plus 125% gilded chest. And then 5 random negative modifiers. If I added one more, we would get a curse. And I don't think I want the curse. Because last time it was pretty unbearable. So I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna be double the living chest we normally would get. And that's the cards we've been dealt. And that's what I'm gonna live with. So boom. I did it. <laughs> I, I I did it. So that is. Ooh. Yeah, this is um gonna be interesting. I have our stuff. And I have all my tools, all my armor is good, good enough anyway. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Three to one. Let's just jump in. Jump in. Get it over with. Okay, we have chunky mobs, which means they have more health. Ruthless, they have more damage and increased amount of mob spawns. Okay, but we have five times gilded. It is a scavenger hunt. That's interesting. Uh, not really gonna care about that. Oh, so we need to go. That's our starter room. We need to go out into that next room. That's here. Then right and then down. So in that room, right and then down until we reach this right there. Okay, well, let's go and get this done. So turn right here and try not to spawn anything in at the moment. And then immediately turn right. And then all I should have to do is just keep going down until I reach the library. I mean, after that, I can go ahead and loot as much of this vault as I want to. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the library and it should have plenty. Plenty of gilded chests for us. That is awesome. I think I'm going to start from the bottom. Oh man, this place is big. I'm going to go from the bottom and move my way all the way up to the top. Look at all these gilded chests. Is it lagging? 69 FPS. That's not... Hmm. Must be all the lighting and the shaders, obviously. So I'm really going to take my time here and just go ahead and loot all of this. Enable the magnet for sure. Don't want to miss out on any of this. Look at all this. This is great. And a lot of jewels we gotta get from this as well. Don't wanna miss out on a single chest. I really hope this sickle actually has enough durability on this. Look at this. Look at that. That is beautiful. We're gonna take it slow because we have all the time in the world. 
And I don't want to miss out on a single chest. They can be trapped, but then we'll just have to deal with it when that time comes, if that time comes. And of course, my hope is that we're going to get a bunch of key pieces from this. If we don't, well, then it's just that. <laughs> We'll still get a lot of other stuff that we really want and get what and need to to get. I think that is the bottom floor. I made some to take some of these blocks as well. They're really pretty, but we'll do that afterwards. I'm gonna move right and then move around like that. I should have grabbed some blocks so I could reach all the way up here because these are. Oh, there we go. We got a key piece. We got a key piece. I just saw that. Hopefully it is not the first, and hopefully we will get many more. Oh, look, there's so many gilded chests. Oh, that's a trap. Okay. I think that is this floor basically done. And I actually have an idea after this, so we can really utilize the gil the extra gilded chests. And I'll reveal that after this. Can I get up there, I wonder? Yes, I can. Haha. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> Another trap, that's fine. Another key piece, I saw that at the corner of my eye. Get rid of these imposters. Oh, look at this, there's a place here that I didn't realize. At the top here, really have to be thorough. Like, look at this. I can use Rain Miner, obviously, as well. But I'm kind of just enjoying the sensation of breaking so many of these. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's one right there. That's a bit of a cheeky place to put it. I think I might actually have gone through the entire place. I don't know if I've been back there. Oh, this is, this is just this place. Yeah, I think I've been through the entire place. This is the top, I think. Because I was there just before. But I think this is all of it. Uh, if I haven't missed anything, which I really hope I haven't, but I don't think so. Still 18 minutes remaining. So what I could do now is go ahead and run around and only stop when I see a gilded location or POI. Then again, we do have spider charms, we do have some purple mob essence, we don't have dried hides, and we don't have blood vials either. But we'll see what we come across. Imagine if we found another library. <laughs> There's one blood vial and another one. I, we, this could be doable. I'm looking for kill the chest. I think I might try and complete this. There we go, another purple mob essence. Okay, yeah, we're doing this. Um, hello. What is going on with all these wooden chests? I didn't have the extra wooden stuff to this crystal, but I'll take oh I'll take the moss, I guess. What is going on behind here? Do I need to run? Oh, it's these mobs that sound so weird. Okay. Well that's creepy, freaky, and everything else. And they camouflage really well. Okay, two spider thingies, four of these, and some of these. I'd say if we can get that's one uh, uh, ground hide, maybe another one. No, that was just one. But if we can keep this up, that's good. Oh, these guys give green mob essence. That's not what I want. I want the other mobs then. And there we go. That is the final purple mob essence. I just need to find coins and living chests now. And of course, I'll take gilded chests. I'm not sure, but I think that's going to be a coin pile. Yep, there's coins in it for sure, and guild it, so I'll take both. And blood pile. Perfect. Got it. Good. So all I need now is living chests, which is probably what's going to let me down last moment. Oh, no mind. Look at that. No drowned hide, though, unfortunately, just yet. I think I'm literally just going to run around until I find what I need. I have nine minutes, so it should be doable. Um, I will check this out. If I could get Ashium, that would be great. Oh, like that. Aha! Finally, it took a long time, and I almost started thinking that I was wasting my time, but there we go. I'll take it. I'm leaving all the rest for sacrifice, the f sacrifice of finding, hopefully, living chests. And look at my man, now that was a lot of mobs. Now I am just really, really, really hoping for living chests. Really, really, really hoping. But it does mean I have to search each room thoroughly, because there could be some hiding in small corners. Unfortunately, that is not the case for this one, though. And I can't... Oh, did have enough to do that. Cool. Let me chest spot it. Please have what I need. Please have the thing that I need. Nope. Okay. Oh, boy. Dungeon could have what I need. Nope, that's coins. Oh, man. I'm not going to get it, am I? Trouble is, it, they can also hide. The living chest can hide very easily in stuff like this because it's green. Next room, quickly, quickly. I probably will have to go back after this one if I don't find it. 
Which it seems like... Yeah. I have to start going back. So now I have to make it back. I can stop if I see one like really, literally like if that was it. But other than that, not gonna happen. I don't want to risk losing all this stuff and having to pay for it. Because that's gonna be expensive. Uh, so annoying though. Keep going. Remember the main objective. We got all the gilded chests that we wanted. Which is great. Ooh, sleep. <laughs> we got the main objective. And we almost got the, the scavenger. Maybe if I haven't... Mm, it was only like a question of a minute or two in the oars. Oh well. We got the bounty complete though. So that is two actually main objectives. I would say that's two main objectives completed. Completing the scav would just be a secondary. How far away from my portal am I? Oh wow. I haven't looted this. <laughs> that's more oars. Um, hello? 40 seconds. I'm just gonna have this out just in case. Where is my portal? Those diamonds here, that's cool. I'm gonna have to eat this. I will have to eat it because that's the back of my portal room. Okay. Go left, then go right, forward, right. Okay. Okay, so this should be blocked off. Yep. Which means my portal room should be in the next room to the right and the right. <laughs> Come on. No, don't do that. Come on. 30 seconds, 20 seconds. This should be it. This is it. Okay, I can make that. Whew, ladies and gentlemen, that was a close one. Yet another close call as well. There we go. Get out of here. 26,000 XP, lots of chests looted, lots of mobs unalived. Unfortunately, we didn't complete the scavenger, but oh well. Time for another nap. Before doing anything, I can go ahead and empty this into this chest here. Because we don't need any of that. This loot belt can just be placed on there, because... <laughs> look at that. Uh, okay, that's a lot of jewels. Th that's a, uh, I will take a look at those separately. Now, let's take a look at the armor real quick. The chest plate is better than my Omega, except that the prefixes suck. Uh, so that's not gonna happen. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to the jewels. That's a lot. This is still being emptied. Anything interesting in here? I mean, we got a chaotic focus and another guild chest scroll, which is good. As a more raw carbon. Why is that empty? I don't know. More inscription pieces. That's good. And while that finishes up, we can go ahead and put that away. And finally, it is time to take a look at this double pouch. Let's see how much stuff we actually get. Three, two, one. Let's see. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. But I was really hoping that I could make another key thing today. That does not look like it. Uh, we got a bunch of these though, and another mod box. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that one bit, but I had hoped I could make another key today. I mean, we got a lot of jewels. Let's see how much we're gonna get for this. Let's go ahead and turn the magnet off. That's one, two. Maybe we can get another new relic, even though they're disappearing very soon. This is loud, I do apologize. And let us see, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Uh, we got a new one in this one. That's a duplicate, that's a duplicate. This is a minus light and that's another duplicate. <laughs> so even though we got that, uh, we, we still didn't complete that. Okay, I want to primarily take a look at these. Durability, that's high. Item rarity, that's good. Mining speed's really good. I mean, we have a lot here. That's pretty decent. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and I need to sort the jewels out in between episodes and I really need to figure out how on earth to actually like store these properly because this... It's an absolute nightmare. Like, I, I don't have space for them all. Literally. Like, this is really inefficient. <laughs> jewels, 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 and jewels. It's, yeah, not good. We do, however, have this. The last bounty. And we did complete that bounty, and I will go ahead and take a stack of gold to have that with me. And we can go ahead and claim this bounty right here. Which leveled us up. Let's go. We can put that there, and so we have another unspent skill point. Ooh, Dash could be upgraded, but I'm not really interested in that. Vein Miner could be upgraded, but I feel like it's already pretty good. Gain extra mana, haste, another level in speed, I feel like would be... Let's max out this, which I can't, because we already have maxed that. Okay, I mean, this is going to be reset anyway, I'm pretty sure. Um... Uh, undead magic increases the damage dealt when fighting the undead. The total can be seen in your statistics. That's two. I'm gonna save it because I think that would actually be kind of cool. Getting extra damage to that. Let's see what this is. Because uh, I forget. Uh, a seal. Got a focus. We got some jewels. Uh, and an echo gem specifically. 
Uh, just gonna dump this in here for now. These two jewels. Okay, not too bad. I don't know if I can take one or if I... Let's open this. Oh, I need to click it on this head's post. Okay. So that is this. It's legendary. Hunt the Guardians. Complete the Hunt the Guardians objective. 26,000 volt XP. All of this stuff. Oh, it's already... Yeah, like, it's already a thing. It's already taken. So I can take another one. Well, that would be... Uh... <laughs> I mean, how can I not activate that? So, I need to complete the objective of Hunter Guardians. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, we're completing the Hunter Guardians objective. That's gonna be the thing. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to make another key because I need I need more, unfortunately. Uh, so, that's gonna have to wait. But ladies and gentlemen, I still hope you enjoyed this episode. It was definitely interesting, in my opinion, uh, getting that gilded room. That was fun. Close calls all around. Uh, oh boy, that's a crafting recipe. I'll get to that in between episodes, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye.